What's up guys, you're watching Dan's How To Videos and today is another video on how to use the iPhone 5. If you've missed any of these videos, the link is always in the description. You can check out all the videos on how to use this phone. Today we're specifically going to look at how to remove the stock apps on the iPhone. Personally, I don't use newsstands, so I want to get rid of that. And I've been fooling around with different methods that I've looked up for about a week now. And some of them don't work, some of them are difficult, and some of them are easy. So what I'm going to do for you guys in this video is show you how to remove the stock apps on your iPhone 5 the easy way. So let's get started. Alright, so I went ahead and put some of the stock apps that I don't really use on a page here to make things a little bit easier for us. And if you search for this on YouTube, I'm sure you found some of these really dumb ways of actually removing your apps. One of them that I could not figure out was the one where you had to create a folder and you'd have to like quickly swipe it into the folder. That does not work. I don't know who created this idea, but I could not get that to work. The best way I found to remove these apps is to go to a site called RageHack. It's R-A-G-3-H-A-C-K. That will be in the description and uh, you can go ahead and check that. Now you want to do that through your iPhone or iOS devices, Safari. So go into Safari, type in RageHack, it'll be the first link and you'll be right into the hack itself. This is what you'll find when you first get into RageHack and what you want to do is click Hide Apps No Jailbreak. Once you click that, you'll be into this page you can read through it and it'll give you all the stock apps that you can remove. Uh, newsstand, calculator, notes, all the stock apps. Now I'm going to go ahead and just for this example let's remove newsstand so it says hide newsstand. So go ahead and click that, click install. Now as you can see newsstand is installing or something's happening with it and this error will pop up and this is a good thing you want the error this time it says newsstand hide could not be installed at this time and what you want to do is click OK or click done and what will happen is this will stay stuck in that uh, semi downloaded phase you want to tap on that and now you'll be able to delete it and you can just hit the X click delete and you no longer have newsstand. Now this will work with any stock app that you have as long as you follow the exact instructions I just went through right now and pretty much you're all set to go. Now if you want to get this back, if you want your newsstand or you want your stock apps back, it's as simple as shutting down your device like this, power it off, and then powering your device back on. It's very simple, once your device turns back on you'll have newsstand and all your stock apps back again. Alright, now as you can see I've got newsstand right back here where it was. Now the best way to do this <clears throat> quickly is to go into your Safari. Now when you actually went to RageHack, when you go to the site itself, it's actually going to pop down with a menu here. As you can see it says install the web app on your phone. You want to go ahead and click that at the bottom and a little droplet will be uh, popped up here, add to home screen. Go ahead and click that, call it whatever you want, add it. So if you want to go back into RageHack, all you have to do is tap on that, go down to the specific hide whatever, hide newsstand again, install, it'll do its little error issue, and you can go done, hold on it, and delete it, delete. See, it's that quick, that easy. If you found this helpful, remember hit that like button. It helps me out. It helps support the channel. Subscribe up top for more videos. It's free. And I will see you guys in the next one.